Hello guys, welcome to a continuation of the series where I show you how to mod your Wii with each video being a separate step in the process. <laughs> um, so this one is part, I think, five. I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, or how to make custom tile sets or edit tile sets for New Super Mario Bros. Wii with this uh, program called Puzzle. So to get Puzzle, I'm leaving this link in the description. First thing you need is a 256 by 256, uh, what's it called, PNG. There's two ways you can do this. You can either open, which opens uh, a tile set, an arc file, uh, in the form of a tile set, or a tile set in the form of an arc file, or you can open an image. This is the snow textures. So say I want to make a custom tile set. This is my PNG, right? If you want to have anything be not an of not a full block, you're gonna ha it has to be a transplant a transparent part of the image. It's divided automatically by puzzle into each single tile. Say I want to edit the properties of this because I imported the image file. None of these tiles have ADA on them. That's why they're all blank. Now, normally, a one of these blocks would have, say it's this one here, it would be solid. Um, since it's an, a ledge would be one of those, like, ones where you can go over it or under it, and you can, like, you, like, move along it slowly. Um, and it's no passing, because you can't pass through the block um, when it's on layer 1. And I'm just going to make a note here, the pass down option, that is used in the game in the form of the hidden blocks, where if you hit the bottom of it, it'll you, you actually do hit something, and then those blocks do end up turning into uh, a used block. But I I've tried using the pass down option, and it didn't work, uh, so you... I, you're probably not going to have much success there. And then you can set this as a mini Mario section. Um, you can set this as a pipe so that if you put a pipe entrance on it, it would work like a pipe. You can set it as a slope or you can just set it as a normal block, which in this case, it is a normal block. It's just a, it's just a floor. You can actually change these settings. Um, <coughs> no, not these ones these ones <laughs> um and you can actually add effects so for instance since this is a snow block i can add snow i can turn this into a snow block and that means that when you when you walk on it little snow particles kind of uh like show up at mario's feet or you can set it as ice for instance where uh, when Mario walks on it, he sli he like slips across it. The weird part of this whole thing is, once you set the properties, then you click on the tile you want to select those properties as. Now, I took a long time to realize that, and it because it doesn't really make sense. So, if you c select a tile and then set the properties, it won't set the properties for that tile. You have to set the properties and the type and everything and then you click the tile and click this tile and click this one and this one and this one and then if you want to learn if you want to see what the properties are then you just hover over it and it'll tell you at the at the top right here it'll say ice or whatever whatever else is different about it for this one you would set a uh, slope you set a slope up this would be a ceiling slope like this um so and then you would be able to set any of these uh these types of slopes and there this uh this one i actually didn't know existed until i until i saw it on this program i didn't know it existed i don't think it's used at all in the game um but i think it would be interesting i'm actually thinking of using this feature in one of my future levels. Let's just say we finished all of this, right? Now we head over to objects. 
This is where you set all the properties of each individual tile. To make objects, which are what you can actually place in Reggie, um, you have to go to this objects tab. You can set this setting to be whatever you need it for. So like the, the repeat bottom option would work for trees like this. Or re, um, repeat is just what most blocks are, where you just, as you add it, it just adds more. <laughs> this is an example of a stretch center object, where basically that middle section, no matter how uh, wide or tall I make this, this, the middle will always stay the same and the edges will always be edges. Um, so that's useful for that kind of thing. That is used a couple times in the game for a few objects. Let's say I want to make it three by three. You have to add one object first. There has to be at least an object and you have to be selecting that object. It's going to default to this top left here. So to add columns to make it wider, you click this plus and you can obviously take away the rightmost one. So let's say I want to make this a stretch center and I want to do it where um, <coughs> I want to do something like this as the block or as the object. So you just select one of these and you add it in here and then you select the middle one and add it in there and I'll set this to stretch center. You set those settings and then you leave the object and then you go back to it and then it'll show like this. Let's just say we finished our tile set. We've made all the objects we could possibly want. Now we're going to uh we're going to save it as a tile set. Before you do that, <laughs> you have to set the tile set slot. PA1 and PA0 and PA3 and PA4 are very different in the fact that if you so in Reggie you can do this you can add uh, you can change what tile set you're using and you can actually make add a custom one but if you use a a PA1 set a as PA2 or something like that it won't work um, the game for some reason doesn't recognize that sort of thing or that uh, the wrong tile set slot and Reggie doesn't either. Um, so what you have to do is, sorry, you have to set it to the correct slot. So in this case, that's PA1, but I'm gonna set it to PA2 instead. <coughs> so you hit okay. Now that you've set the slot, now you can save it. You have to always make sure that you save it as the correct slot. PA2, um, test. Um, and you have to make sure that you, oh yeah, use very slow compression, good quality. It's just, there's no point in not using that. No point in using fast compression. It will be not responding for a while. Um, but after some time, it will be saved. Don't like give up on it or anything. It, it actually is working to save the file. It's been some time, you know, it's only been like three months, three and a half. Seamlessly edited, I'm sure. Reggie actually does detect the textures and use them. It doesn't have preloaded pictures for each tile. So that's why Reggie is actually very useful if you're making custom levels. It will actually show you what your custom tile sets look like after you make them. So what I'm going to do here is, since I saved mine in tile set 2, or in um, PA2, which is actually the third thing listed on Reggie. To use your custom tile set, you go to area settings, and then background suite is PA2. This is the order that the tile set slots are in. So PA0, PA1, PA2, and this is PA3. So let's say I want to use my one that I just made. PA2 test. <coughs> you click OK. And this is what it is. <laughs> this is correct. 
Whatever collision you set for each block um, is the type of collision that you're going to see when you actually play the game. What I did before in Puzzle was I took an image, I imported an image. If you wanted to like kind of base your tile set off of um, off of one that's already in the game or one that you already have the file for, what you would do for that is hit open and this is actually going to open the tile set itself. Let's do PA1 Shiro, which I think is either the tower or the, ca or the castle or something. Tile set. So we want to, um, yeah, that's castle. <coughs> so we want to edit the castle tile set. So uh, we want to edit what everything looks like in here. Um, just make a few minor changes. So to do that, you would, um, you would be able to export image, which is pretty much like, if you know what import image, you know what export image is. It, uh, it saves it as a PNG. I usually put all of these pictures in the same folder as puzzle itself, and I'll just say, um, tile set, tile set, but spell it right. And now you actually have the tile set saved as a PNG in this folder. So you can edit this in paint, probably not paint because it's paint. That is how puzzle works. It t <laughs> I recorded like 20 minutes of footage on this video three and a half months ago and I just couldn't get the like, last five minutes in. Do you have some more planned episodes of this series um, showing newer uh, things you can do modding your Wii? Yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, do subscribe if you have not done so already, and goodbye.